Hello everyone, let's learn about resolving vectors. Resolving vector is the process of separating a vector into its x and y components. Sometimes we can also resolve it into z component, but in this video we're just going to discuss the basic two dimensions which are the x and y axis. This pen represents a vector that is directing to the above x axis with an angle theta to the horizontal. If we look at the top that is parallel to the x-axis, we can see the vector. Well, I put here an x, but any vector like velocity v or force f makes the same resolving. We can see the vector's x component is only up to here, which is less than the original length of the vector. And when we view this vector, Facing the y-axis, the magnitude at the y component is only this much. So how do we calculate these vector components? Here are the equations for both. For vector resolve at y-axis, it is ny equals to n sine theta. And for vector resolve at x-axis, it is nx equals to n cos theta. That's the equation used to resolve any vector. Ooh, but remember, the cos belongs to the component that the theta is attached to. And if the theta is attached to the y-axis like this, then the y component of the vector will use the cos in its equation. Got it? When we try to resolve a vector quantity, the angle is really important. Here, we have the same pens, which represent the same magnitude of a vector. But when it is located at different angle, each component varies. Theta1 is smaller than Theta2, and Ny1 is much shorter than Ny2. But look at what happened to the x components. Nx1 is longer than its corresponding. Okay, this is the view from the front, and this is the view from the top. Next, how should we calculate if the vector is parallel to one of the axes, like in these figures? Well, if the vector is parallel to y-axis, the ny will get the 100% of the magnitude of the vector, while nx equals to zero. And if the vector is parallel to the x-axis, then the nx will get 100% of the magnitude, while ny equals to zero. So yeah, that's it. That is what resolving vector is all about. Thank you, everyone.